It's embarrassing for the league. It really is. I mean, as I've said before, we all get into this and know no matter what happens. So David Blatt had injuries this year and everything else. We all know nobody cares about that. You're supposed to win. He did. He did. And now he's still getting fired. So it's hard to figure out what it's all about anymore now. Um, you know, I mean, it's just hard to figure out. That one, to me, um, elevated all of the coach firings totally into the theater of the absurd. Um, you know, it was insane. So we've already had Kevin McHale goes to the conference finals and gets fired 11 games into the season, and now David Blatt. So two of the four guys who were left standing at the end of last year aren't there anymore. I mean, it, it's just it's getting ridiculous. So I, I don't know any, if anybody even knows what the uh, expectations of coaches are anymore. Well, we thought gonna, we did. I was going to ask, what do you think? I have absolutely no idea. I mean, I have no idea. Um, In some cases, it literally is championship or bust. Literally. Well, that's fine, but he's 30 and 11. I mean, it's not like you're looking at him and saying, wow, they've got no chance to win the championship. I mean, they're at the top of the East. They're the favorite to go back. It's not like they're sliding along in fourth place or something like that. Yeah, so if it's championship or bust and you didn't like the fact that he didn't win it last year, why'd you give him 41 games this year? I mean, it doesn't. Look, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. There's no logical explanation for it. None of us know the inner workings of what went on. Um, but the bottom line is, his job is to win games. He did that. That's, mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a bottom line business, but it's not. So, um, you know, now you get fired for winning as much as you get fired for losing. When you